Okay, so it's day 57 of our one hour a day workout. I was gonna do a little weigh in today, but I don't think my scale is accurate. So it keep giving me different weights. So tomorrow I will go by a new scale and we're gonna start weighing in for the liquid diet. Um, see how fast we go down on the liquid diet. I'm on a liquid diet. Uh, it's been on for like two days. It's been since I think uh, the 14th. Was today the 16th? So let's see how long I last. You know what I'm saying? You know, because since I started the one hour day workout, I figure I eat and work out for, you know, an hour. But I was eating less. And, you know, you know, sometimes getting a craving for this or getting a craving for that. But, um, that's not working fast enough. Not for me. Maybe for other people, losing 10 pounds in 55 days is, you know, well, today is 57, so, yeah. Maybe losing 10, 10 pounds in that amount of time is cool for some people, but not for me. So, yeah, yesterday I got my little curtain. I found a little shower curtain. <clears throat> I'm gonna need, let's see. I'm gonna need this, so when I do my, maybe I should do my um, push-ups first. Since the key is already in this way, but this is supposed to bend further down. So yeah, so tomorrow I'm gonna go out and see if I can find a real curtain but for now that curtain matched my carpet a little bit so uh, the hooks was already on the other side so I was able to put a little something up to cover all of the mess that we used to see down the other end which it looked like mess but it's uh, things that um, I just need to organize, okay? It looks like a mess, but it's, uh, you know, what they say, a house is a home. Yeah. It's just a little clog because once I'm concentrating, like anybody who knows who's been watching my videos, I'm taking a mortgage test. I took the first one and failed. <laughs> they say, you know, 50% of the people fail the first time, so... I failed, I didn't take it serious. I gotta buckle down on the math, you know? So they said, oh, don't put no big emphasis on the math. You know, if you're strong on the other parts, you know, it's not that many math questions. But the math do make a difference. It do make a difference. You should, if you're going for mortgage, you should know uh, how to calculate people's income to debt and what their monthly fees is going to be. And you should know. You know, even though, even though they say, you know, they got, you know, I don't know how they be having it all the way down in the commercials. They be showing you something healthy in the commercials that you can't get to happen. You can't get to happen when you're by yourself with it. I can't get it through that last hole. Why? Can't get it through the last one. You know, to push it all the way down. So let me just put it on this one. Okay. 
Okay, so I went out of day workout. Try to be more busier, but I'm on my liquid diet, so I should come down much quicker. Faster. That's what I'm looking to do. Looking for better results. Even though this area is feeling like much better, uh, when I started, I was on the floor on a yoga mat doing my sit-ups and stuff, and I don't know. I guess since I haven't been working out for a long time, it's bothering my thighs. My thighs be hurting. I said I gotta drop that that fat in the thighs. That shit is painful. All of this extra meat under here. So I gotta do some kind of exercise that, you know, slim up them thighs. Cause I don't know, the, the workout been affecting my thighs only on the sides over here. I don't know, maybe it's um, the sit-ups. Okay, so I don't want this thing to fall on me. <clears throat> Let me get on my knees. Okay, so from what I've seen in the paper, um, they be doing like kind of like the girly push-ups, but this they be having further down. And I just don't know why I can't get my key to go through there. Be further down. So this thing will just be rubbing on my stomach, which is okay because these things is like a massager. Um, they roll. So when you're sitting up, they kind of like massage your back. I'm still getting used to this thing. Because it's like a, it's a small bench, so it's not like, it's not like those benches that the men be using. I don't want to put too much weight on this side and this whole thing just like flip. Flip over on me. Get back in a sitting position. Mm. I like this little bench stuff. curtain going today. So you don't have to see that much of a mess. Well, me, I'm not, um, I don't perpetrate a fraud. And I'm saying, um, I'm not trying to act like I'm something that I'm not. You know what I'm saying? What it is is what it is. You know what I'm saying? What you see is what you get, you know? 
You see, I don't be wearing that makeup. You see, I don't be wearing no wigs. You know, I don't have to get all prepared like that for my videos and stuff like that because who I am is who I am. I'm not trying to cover up and be like, put on a whole bunch of makeup and you think you're dealing with a high pretty girl or a, a young girl, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The last thing, the last thing I would want is to have to review, reveal my true self after having somebody, making somebody think I look one way, you know what I'm saying? And then, um, you know, you go home, you got to take off the wig, you know how, um, okay, so say you meet a guy at the bar at the club or something right? like that, right? You all made up and uh, makeup and wigs and all that stuff like that. So just suppose, you know, your relationship, you know, it turns into a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, suppose you keep in contact with that man or that significant other, right? And you wearing all this makeup and stuff, right? <laughs> and wigs and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And you got on your girdles and all that stuff that's, you know, pulling in your waist. Nothing wrong with girdles, but, you know, what he think he's getting, <laughs> what he think he's seeing while he drunk and had a couple of drinks or tipsy, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, for you to go home You know, for you to be in a relationship with the guy, and if the if the relationship progresses, eventually, you know, he have to see the real you. Cause one day he gonna come over your 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 face is not made up quick enough, or uh, y'all gonna have sex. You gonna get up in the morning or out the shower or something like that, and you know, your your makeup, your face is not on. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? But it's it's not it's not the the long relationship. It's just like the first time you know a nigga see you without your wig or your extension braids or your makeup. You know what I'm saying? And you have like with me, I got darkness under my eyes. Like you know, some people they do their makeup so good. You know, they might have blemishes all over their face. You know what I'm saying? So. With me, if I go out, if I go out, I do um, put on a little lipstick so my lips don't be looking all, you know, they dry. You know, you want your lips to look a little bit perky and I might put on some eyeliner, you know what I'm saying? But I don't do the whole face thing, you know what I'm saying? Like... I don't do the whole facial thing. When we was kids and trying to be grown, we used to put on the old mascara and all of that. You know, sometimes you do the eyelashes. I don't even know about makeup enough to talk about it, but like I said, I do eyeliner. Um, I do a little lipstick. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not really trying to do a whole bunch because, you know, the thing with me is, you know, my eyes be empty and I be scratching and rubbing my face. You know what I'm saying? I'm not used to it. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I'm just saying that with me, when you see me, like, I'm in my hallway, in my apartment. You know what I'm saying? Before I put that curtain up, if you look at the other videos, you see a whole bunch of stuff in the, you know, in the um, hallway part of the kitchen next to the door. You know. Listen, I call that my house is my home. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to come off on a YouTube video like I'm rich. When I do get rich, I will let y'all know. <laughs> I'm rich. I moved. 
I moved out of the apartment. I'm in the rich, you know. <laughs> you know, but I don't. I don't worry about like all of that stuff. And you know, the other thing that other people is like the cloud chasing and going viral. I might do a little cloud chasing uh, when I use. Uh, like the celebrity names and my titles and stuff like that. That's a, that's a little bit of, you know, trying to get a little clickbait going on there, whatever the situation is. But um, I usually have a, a, a personal point of view about situations, you know, when I speak on them, you know. So I don't just do it for clickbait and then you come in here and I'm not giving you my personal opinion. I don't do that, you know what I'm saying? So... It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Um, some people, they get up on their, their uh, YouTube and they pretend like, like they're more than what they are, you know, like fake it till you make it. For me, I don't want nobody to think I have anything that I don't have because there's too many niggas out here, you know, too many jack boys. Too many niggas that are ready to run up on you. Find where you at. Oh, she got money. I'm running up on her. Oh, she got a she got a house. She got luxuries. You know what I'm saying? That's what you gotta worry about. That's what you gotta worry about, you know, when you when you do make it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta worry about jealousy. So you gotta be up out of your hood. If, 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 you know, if you go viral, you get some money, you got to be out. <laughs> That's the way I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> if, if you get fame, make sure the fame come with the fortune. <clears throat> make sure you're not just famous <laughs> without money. So that's why I don't be wanting to go, like, I don't want to do no stupid viral thing where, you know, you go viral and, you know, no money comes with it, you know. I need to, you know, if I'm going to go viral and everybody in my, you know, borough, which is the Bronx, <laughs> going to know, oh, shit, she went viral. They're going to be on my motherfucking ass, you know. They're going to be on my ass. I got to be the fuck out of Dodge. <laughs> So that's why, you know, like niggas be getting killed for shit that's, you know, like they might have, wear fake jewelry, you know what I'm saying? For shit that's not real, you know what I'm saying? Or shit that's not theirs or for, you know what I'm saying? A rented car, you know, showing off in a rented car, taking pictures, going to rent the car, making everything in their Instagram look pretty, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, uh, that gives people on to getting jealous. Some people, some people be um, buying fake money, you know what I'm saying? And be like, you know, showing off like they got a whole bunch of money and it'd be fake, you know? <clears throat> yeah, this is a time of you know, using debit cards. You know what I'm saying? It's like there's no need to there's no need to get robbed for cash. Why would you get why would you have cash in your pocket these days? Like cash? Cash money? Like really? I barely sometimes I end up in stores that don't take cash, like the discount stores where you know I get my toilet trees from. And he don't he don't take a credit card. He only take cash, right? And there's some some restaurants that only take cash, right? And I end up having to leave the store if they don't have an ATM. I have to leave the store and um, go get money if I really need something out of their store. You know what I'm saying? Or just go to another store because I don't. 
I don't really, I really don't believe in um, carrying all that cash if I don't have to, you know. Oh, that give you a good like stretch, y'all. That give you a, a good stretch. This it goes all the way back. A good stretch. I know I be playing too much and talking too much around here, and I be expecting good outcomes, <clears throat> but I don't be working that hard. I be I be worrying about my conversation more than my workout. I be worried about conversation more than the workout. <clears throat> that take your head all the way down to the floor almost. <sighs> and these resistant bands is like you lifting the weight. So you don't really even need weights. You know. I like this right here. It almost feel like a relief to a, a stretch relief to. Uh, yeah, what was I talking about? Yeah, if you go viral or you renting cars to look good, or you renting an Airbnb. You know, to show off and all you renting a hotel room, you know what I'm saying? It's like if everything is looking pretty, then when a motherfucker run up on you, they gonna think, and you know what I'm saying? It's, it's time to rob you, you know what I'm saying? For a thirsty motherfucker. So I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna pretend I don't want to pretend like, oh, I'm rich, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I got a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to pretend anything and then have niggas searching me out. Shit, I'm poor and I got people searching me out. <laughs> I got niggas searching me out and I'm poor, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck y'all want? And I don't have shit. <clears throat> So imagine if, you know, I was on the internet proclaiming riches and lying about it. And niggas be on my ass. And, you know, if you don't have the money to back it up, the balance, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. With that fame, you know, niggas start running up a lot, you know. They find out where you at, you know. You won't get a break. So it's, it's, it's better to just go ahead and lay low, you know what I'm saying? It's better to just go ahead and lay low, do your normal little thing. And when it really comes and then... You know, when a fortune really comes or whatever money comes or fame comes, it really be real because you're going to need it to be real because all of the shit that you're going to be fighting off is going to cost you to, you know, get the fuck out of Dodge, put it that way. And excuse my French for the people, you know, that don't like, you know, all that cursing and stuff like that, but sometimes, sometimes you gotta express, you know. In a way where, you know, most people understand. And then you gotta get out of Dodge because you're becoming too famous, you know. I don't even like niggas to beef with me to, you know, put attention on me. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't put no attention on me. 
that I can't afford to, you know, hide from, you know? That's basically it, because with these celebrities, they be talking about no snitching and Takashi 6 9 and Meek Mill and, and he snitched and he want to pounce on him and stuff like that. But in all reality, they going home to sleep somewhere safe. You know what I'm saying? I was talking about that yesterday, but they going home to sleep somewhere safe. You know what I'm saying? And you know who going to be squabbling and killing each other about no snitching? Niggas in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Niggas that got to rest their head in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Meek Mill or Takashi 6 9 Y'all don't really have to watch their back that hard. Just for the gated community that they live in, you know. Shit, you can't get to their house probably without coming miles in, you know what I'm saying, probably to a forest to be met by a gate with a security or something, you know what I'm saying? Because so they'll probably see people coming a mile away, you know, they'll probably get word, heads up, that somebody is coming miles away because... If you seen like Rick Ross's house, who else? Um, Floyd Mayweather, Master P, them, them type of properties, you know, they, they own the, the acres, acres and acres around their house, you know what I'm saying? So you you come on a property you could get shot legally probably most likely you know what i'm saying i gotta check into it but i think when you own the land and somebody come on your land illegally i think you have the right to you know to i guess protect yourself and shoot them if they you know they don't belong there you know I got to check into that, Lord, because sometimes people just be lost and they be wandering. They think that's the park, and that's part of somebody, somebody's house. You know what I'm saying? The way Rick Ross' house look, it look like, you know, you could think, you could be on part of his land and think that's, you know, part of a national park or something. <laughs> you know? His shit is so big, but... Yeah. They, they they don't have to come back home to the hood. So they doing all of that stuff for the internet. Um, for the internet, they probably be dropping music soon or whatever for publicity or whatever, you know. <clears throat> they publishers is probably proud of them. Yeah, you got a million views about that altercation, you know. You got a million views, you got five million views. Uh, they clicking on your music again. You know, every time an incident happened with them on the internet, then people start clicking around and Google searching their name and clicking on their songs and listening to their songs again and Searching for their names, waiting for a beef to come up and stuff. Now, okay, so they talking about hood shit that, you know, okay, so, yeah, Takashi 6 now was down with the gang and he snitched on his gang, his crew or whatever the situation is, but those niggas didn't have as much as money as him, so he was paying them to do stuff, you know what I'm saying, and, um, when they all got busted, he snitched. But when he came out, he came out to money. He was on camera with millions of dollars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And showing off about it, too. So he came out doing a song with Nicki Minaj. I mean, you know, he still came out to his celebrity. He, he still came out to people working with him, you know? He still came out dropping songs. The last song he, he just dropped, he was talking hard, you know what I'm saying? So, 
Ain't nothing really changed. Ain't no, ain't nothing really changed with him other than probably being able to collaborate <clears throat> with certain artists. You know, because they they don't want their name to be lined up with a snitch. You know what I'm saying? Oh, was you working with that snitch? You know, with that rat? You know. <clears throat> but like I was saying yesterday, for the woman and the kids, it's better for the community. <clears throat> you know, not everybody is upset with him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Imagine, imagine um, the neighborhood, um, the woman, the kids, the old people and stuff like that, when the nine trades went to jail. You know, imagine the other people. <laughs> The law abiding, not the gang people, the law abiding citizens. <laughs> Imagine them people. <laughs> How they was feeling. Oh, good. <laughs> All the shit is going to slow down now. Well, it'll slow down for a little while. The niggas is going to pick back up again. Because niggas, you know, they don't, they don't learn. <clears throat> I don't care how much... I don't care how much videotaping and wiretapping that they be doing. Niggas just don't learn. Everybody think that they can outsmart or, you know, beat the system. Like some niggas be like, oh, I don't talk over the phone. Yeah, I don't take no pictures. So I ain't worried about all that. You ain't got to worry about talking over the phone or taking any pictures because you got to be outside and you go in places. You go to restaurants. There are certain restaurants that you frequent and that you like. You go, there's something that you like to do. Some place that you like to hang out. You like to go to games or, you know, wherever you like to go. You know what I'm saying? They'll, they'll find a way to record you and your voice. You know what I'm saying? They will find a way. And not only that, the other thing that I failed to mention yesterday was the snitches, right? So you say the rats. Okay, and Takashi 6 9 this was like a gang-related situation uh, where he was, you know, he had the money, he was giving orders, you know, niggas was thirsty, they needed money, so they was taking orders from him and they, he was giving them thousands of dollars to do what he said, right? They was literally raising their hand, uh, you know, I'll do it, you know what I'm saying? You know, but then you got, you got the guys that be out here selling drugs that, you know, they got their clientele, they build their clientele. And you think your man snitched on you or somebody, or your rivalry or your ops, it might be your junkies. It might be your clientele that set you up. The people that come to you regularly, regularly i think i said it in another video where is you know you be telling you oh, I, I, you know i'm low i don't have nothing you know what i'm saying come back later in the morning you know I'll read up i'll be read up in the morning and when you make that statement you might make it to the wrong junkie you know what i'm saying because that junkie right there uh, the feds might have been sending the police or the feds might have been sending them to your spot to you know what I'm saying? To know when they are going to make the bust. Okay? So, the illegal game is, it's just not worth it. It's, it's just like, it's a bad ending. Whether you end up getting killed by a nigga that's jealous or trying to rob you or trying to take your spot, or whether you end up in jail away from your kids, your mama, Baby, mom, or girlfriend, whoever, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just a bad ending. You might be doing good for a couple of years, yeah. And and um, all them people from back in the old days <laughs> that be talking about their drug dealing days and stuff, like they had a few good years, you know what I'm saying? You know, they had a few good years. It's, it's not enough. And I guess with the fame and stuff and everybody talking about it and people making movies of it, like the Alpo story, story and stuff like that, and he'll forever have a name, you know. Yeah, I guess if that's what you're in it for, you know what I'm saying? 
or what was the other guy named Freeway Freeway Ricky Ross yeah when you could just go ahead and you know try to do something legal my thing was always to take that street money and you know I think like the smartest thing would have been is take that street money and then turn it into a legal business you know what I'm saying like before you get busted like get out of there I mean even if it's like a year or less than a year that you're out there. If you get enough money to open up your storefront, put your business together, like fifty thousand or a hundred thousand dollars or something like that, <laughs> go ahead and you know turn it to some legal business, you know, and drop everything. Don't get deep into that like that, you know. Yeah, I got twenty keys, you know. Then you two, you two. You got 20 keys. <laughs> the connect giving you 10, 10, 15, and 20 keys. That's to you too deep. <laughs> you definitely, you know you bound to get busted. You know you bound to get busted. You know it's going to turn out bad. And then the ones that be talking about, um, like, um, what's the guy with alcohol, um, AZ? Yeah, where his, where they came in to rob him because they knew the safe was there. Uh, they shot up his arms, like, killed three people. He almost died, you know. You know, where the drug dealers come in and kill your mother, you know. So, uh, Kidnap your nephew. That's you know, all of that story. That's terrible. That that's that's enough right there to leave it alone. You know, just like with the Alpo story. Everybody, I mean, not the Alpo story, but the Al Pacino story. All the guys is trying to mimic Al Pacino. You know what I'm saying? Like they selling drugs and they the boss and they got their guns and you know. Well, look at the ending. You know, everybody's leaving out the ending. You know what I'm saying? Where niggas was like scaling the wall. Yeah, he done put a, a mansion with all of this water fountain in the middle and all of these stairs and all kind of stuff like that. But the business that he was in, what? Caused the wrong niggas to visit his house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Scaling the walls and all kind of shit, you know. So, me, I say, get it the legal way. Get your money the legal way, and keep a clean background. <clears throat> And but regardless of what, just enjoy your life. If you never get rich, just enjoy. Be thankful. Be thankful for what you have. Because I put it this way. I, you know, in my 55 years, I'll be 55 this year. In my 55 years, I've seen so many people die. And we all seen so many rappers come up and get killed that we thought, oh, we wish they had their life. You know, the Nipsey Hussles and the Pop Smokes and the Biggies, the Tupacs and all of them like that, right? Oh, yeah, they making good songs. Wouldn't you want to be in that position, you know? Oh, they must got money, you know what I'm saying? To come to find out that... They really didn't have that much money, you know what I'm saying? But they be doing GoFundMe's for the rappers after they, you know, to, to get them buried and stuff and, and raise their money for their families, their wives and their kids and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, sometimes 
it might be beneficial to stay like uh, regular, you know. I mean, reach for your reach for your goals, you know. But I would say make sure they're legal. Eliminate the people around you that's shysty, you know. Shysty motherfuckers that you, you know, uh, they see you coming up or whatever the situation is, but they seem to be a little jealous, you know what I'm saying? Like they with you, but they seem to act a little funny, you know what I'm saying? You only want people that's 100% with you. And people don't want to face the reality, right, that they might end up. When they eliminate all those people, they might end up by themselves, like I did. You know what I'm saying? They scared of that picture. You know, that picture's a scary picture, a reality picture where it is if, if it was um, you against somebody else, right? And you're not the favorite person, the other person is. And everybody went with that person. Say like a Ja Rule and the 50 Cent type situation. Yeah, Ja Rule had his little crew or whatever, but the majority of the masses was behind 50 Cent. You know what I'm saying? You know. That type of situation. But I'm talking about without the fame. I'm just talking about a regular person trying to, you know, come up, get their life together. And have to eliminate people that's not 100% with them. And, you know, the thing you'll find is that, hey, um, the main people that's around me is family, it's blood. You know what I'm saying? Well, you have to cut off your siblings, nieces and nephews, aunts and uncles, and you know what I'm saying? Cousins and stuff like that. And, you know, that's when you, you know, that's when you're growing up. That's when you're facing reality. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't really want to face that. You know? Because you're trying to grow. And every time you make a move to grow, they either be negative, do something negative, try to do something to backstab you to be negative, cause controversy, you know, just shake you off of your, you know, your positive path. You know what I'm saying? Just throw everything in, you know what I'm saying, to interrupt what you're trying to do, to, to disturb, to, 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 you know, throw your mind off, of your, fo your focus off of what you're trying to do. You have to eliminate those people. And the sad part about it is, you might end up by your damn self. If you're anybody like me, like, your mother, your mother will probably stick with you and be your truest person to you, right? But if you're anybody like me, when my mother died when I was three, I don't, I don't have that only, onlyest resort to go to. I don't have that. I don't have it. So I found myself by myself. So, you know what I said? Let me take care of myself. Because these niggas is trying to see me in my grave. Let me take care of myself. Yeah. They trying to see me in the mental hospital. Which they was successful for one week. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, people stress you out. You resort to smoking and getting high and, you know, it, it'll put your men, your mentality, you know, trying to cover up reality, you know, with drugs and alcohol and stress that causes you to smoke. Smoke causes cancer. Liquor causes cancer. You know. You start using dope or coke or anything like that or popping pills and stuff like that, you know. You get, um, what you call the word? 
addicted. Get addicted to any drugs or become an alcoholic, then you can hang it up, you know. You can hang your your, your dreams up. So with the people that's causing that type of stuff, stress in your life, let them go. Let them go. You know what I'm saying? It's like if somebody see you working out and trying to lose weight and get in shape and they keep ordering food around you or, you know what I'm saying, they keep eating around you. You know, if I'm in the process of dieting, if you know, eat before you come around me or eat after you leave, you know what I'm saying? Don't do a whole bunch of greasy eating, you know, around me. Mainly on a liquid diet, you know what I'm saying? But I don't have to worry about that because I don't have company and visitors and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, for example, you know? <clears throat> and, you know, if you think... You need somebody else, um, like me. Um, I used to have a uh, supervisor when I used to run my cleaning company, and he used to supervise my crew for me. And he was good with direction, so he used to encourage me, and I depended on his encouragement to go places sometimes. Sometimes it was jobs that I used to be like, I don't know about this job because all the way out in Far Rockaway, I don't know how to get out there. I, I you know, I've never been out there. He'll be like, I know how to get out there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And Anthony used to be um, anything that was out of the way or anything that I wanted to brush to the side that he felt that was important for the business that we should do it. He'd be like, I'll help you. <laughs> I'll go with you. I know which way to go. But that was cool then, you know what I'm saying? But you have to be your own motivator too, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be your own motivator, you know what I'm saying? Because people see that you, your goal is something, you know what I'm saying? And people are evil, you know what I'm saying? They'll throw you off of your goals, you know? So your, your will, willpower have to be strong to be around certain people, you know, to accomplish your goal. But if they're causing that much of a problem, eliminate them. Eliminate them. Eliminate them. Standing in your way for every fucking thing. You, you're never able to accomplish what you need to accomplish because you sitting around helping everybody else out and you ain't you ain't where you need to be you know what I'm saying you spending time with everybody else doing everybody else's uh, chores and, and helping everybody else out their responsibility and their burdens and stuff and then um when you try to do something for yourself, nobody has your back. Nobody supports uh, uh, what you're doing. Nobody wants to be down with your business. Nobody wants to support your business. Nobody's giving you encouragement about what your plans is and what you're trying to do. You know what I'm saying? But you done gave that support to everybody else's business. You know what I'm saying? And that's where I found myself. I found myself, you know, I'm the type of friend that would go to your house and if I see that, you know, oh, you know, you've been in a situation, you've been achy or, you know, you're letting your house go, I hope you clean up. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of things. You know, even in my family, 
you know, uh, with the help of the kids with education, with helping the, you know, the ones that's dying on a deathbed that nobody else don't want to talk to, that the, the, the sick and dying, you know what I'm saying? To turn around later on and not be appreciated for what you've done. You know what I'm saying? You know, because your time, your time is viable. That's all you have. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm 55 and most people die like in their 80s, they're their 80s or whatever the situation is. If you get to your 90s and your 100s, you know, you're, you're old and, you know, you're not really doing much. You know what I'm saying? You know, there's no need to plan really nothing much no more, education or nothing much no more. You understand what I'm saying? So if you get all the way up in your 50s and all this time you've been helping other people, helping other people, businesses, and everything that you try, nobody supports you, it's time to... You know, like I say, have a little life for myself. You know what I'm saying? Now it's time to have a little life for myself. I need to do something for myself, you know, at least for, you know, hopefully I last another 10, 20 years or 30 years. You know what I'm saying? But I, I need to do something for self, you know. Yeah, I've made, have I made accomplishments? Yes. Have I gotten educations? Yes, you know. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> but I, I do feel like, you know, it's not really a waste even if they, you know, don't acknowledge it. Like, you can help raise a kid and then when they get older, they be like, you really did nothing for me, I raised myself. You know what I'm saying? You know, those, those, those um, kids that become adults and stuff like that and don't give credit where credit is due. But I still don't think it's a waste because I think that God, I think what God does is he credits you in another way. Like right now, I'm working out because I'm overweight. But that's like the most of my problems. I get a little achy here and, you know, achy in my back or whatever the situation is. Got a little overweight here in my belly. I'm trying to get rid of my thighs and stuff like that. But... It's not a major illness. It's not cancer. It's not diabetes. You know what I'm saying? It's not lupus. It's, it's no major illness. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, we have, you know, like I've have had sisters die. One died from leukemia. My other sister just died. She had um, cancer and she had um, lupus. You know what I'm saying? So, You know, you just have to look at life and, and people be looking like, where's God at? If there's a God, where's God at? You just have to look at those type of things, you know. Like, you still alive. You don't have a serious illness. You helped people out where other people, you know, was able to capitalize, run around, have money, and enjoy life, and then they end up dying. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel like, why is somebody else having a better life than me or, you know, getting more money? Remember, when a person is getting more money than you or they have so much money, you know, they could get bored quick. They have enough money for all their vices, you know what I'm saying? You know, they have enough money if they want to go smoke a whole carton of cigarettes, you know. Instead of buying one pack or Lucy, they might go buy a whole carton and sit up there and chain smoke. You know what I'm saying? You know, instead of buying one crack ball, you know what I'm saying? They might buy a whole motherfucking key, you know what I'm saying, to smoke up. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the difference with um, you know, with people that have money. It could do good for them, but then it could do bad for them. Mainly those people, like, the ones that hit the lotto and, you know, it come all of a sudden as a surprise. They never had planned out nothing that they wanted to do in life that was going to uh, cost money, cost a lot of money. So they just be doing stupid shit like opening up clubs and, 
you know what I'm saying? Uh, giving all their money to like people in the club and their friends and stuff and just splurging and showing off. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't know what to do with, you know, when you don't have plans, <laughs> if you got a lot of money, yeah, you're trying to save. If you got kids, you want to leave your kids some money, but you also, um, you also want to make the investments. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to make investments in houses, if you're going to make investments in stocks and buy businesses or whatever the situation is, have something to do with that money. Don't just let that money be sitting there like, oh, I'm bored. I don't know what to do. I'm going to get some drugs. I'm going to the liquor store. Like, because if you got a lot of money and you're able to do that every day, you're killing yourself faster. So the poor person that don't have the money to do all that gonna live longer than the person that got money. You understand what I'm saying? So, like I said, I've seen a lot of people come and seen a lot of people go. You know what I'm saying? And I'm still here and I thank God for that. I thank God for my life. I thank God for my health and I got something to be thankful for, you know? And I just want to get my weight down. I want to keep my liquid diet. And I want to stay healthy. I don't want the liquid diet to affect anything else. So I just got to make sure. They say you can survive off of one um, teaspoon of honey every day. You know, like if you're going on a liquid diet, the concern is... Are you getting your vitamins and your nutrients, you know, from a whole course meal? But they say you can survive because some people do um, starvation and they die after like two or three weeks. But I'm not really doing that. If you use the chia seeds, the lemon, and the honey and stuff, they say you could survive off of honey. And, uh, uh, yeah, so we're coming to almost to the close of the day. I'm still studying, trying to pass this mortgage test. And I done cleared out, like, uh, I done closed out for this month. I'm not going to be uh, dealing with a whole bunch of people. I got to study, pass my test, and after I pass my test, we could get back to normal. But right now, I got something to accomplish that I want to accomplish. I like this bench because I can sit down and, and talk on it <clears throat> and do my sit-ups and get a, a, a stretch. <clears throat> you go all the way back and get that stretch. And I don't even have to wear my brace, my back brace. I usually wear this back brace when I'm on the floor. Remember this? I'm not even wearing that. No That's when I was on the floor pulling my pulling my own weight. Ah. Okay, so we're almost an hour in. So I'll just be blabbing. <laughs> but um what I'll be saying be real for anybody that's listening all the way through. You know, you might be safer where you at than to try to run up in uh for riches and fame. You know, I see a lot of copycats with the gorilla glue girl and you know <laughs> 
Y'all might get some temporary fame and stuff like that, but yeah, be careful with that, okay? So, peace. I'm going to uh, tomorrow try to find a scale because this scale is not giving me, it's giving me all different kind of weights. I'm trying to get a solid scale and then um, we'll start weighing in and seeing what the loss is. So we on a liquid diet, y'all. I'm not doing, I'm not taking in no solids, okay? So let's see how fast that way to come down. Peace, I'm out.